This is KTMA TV 23, Minneapolis, St. Paul. In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different than you or me. He worked in a satellite loading bay, just polishing switches to pay his way. He did his job well with a cheerful face, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Was then cheesy movies, the worst ever made. Joe says when you got lemons, you make lemonade. Now keep in mind he can't control when the movies begin or end Because he used the extra parts to make his robot friends Robot roll call Gamba Servo Tipsy Crow If you're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts just to beat yourself, it's just a show I should really just relax For oh, mystery science theater 3000 Let's try them again Every time I try, they hang up We've got to get the movie through to them Hello, Jolie Hello. Hey, wait a minute. You're not Joel. That's right. Is Joel home? Yes. Well, can I talk to him? Yes. Would you mind getting him? Hey, sirs. Don't hey, sir me, you little fishbowl with feet. Get the boss! You mean Bruce Springsteen? No. Boss Hog? No. Boss Tweed? No. no. Bossy the Cow? <laughs> this has gone far enough. Yeah, and without a laugh. Send those robo twits time of the apes. Gladly. <laughs> Move <Movie> <laughs> <star! laughs> Time of the Apes, very exciting. Sandy Frank, another big thrill for me. Killed monkey. I feel kind of a void without Joel here. But you sure smell nice. Thank you. Grab into your load pan. 1987? It's kind of a scary thought. Someone wants to admit that they wrote this? Well, if your name is Kaijabe, I think it's pretty much a aspiration. Gesundheit. The feature concept, William L. Cooper must have been done Planet of the Apes. Oh, look, it's Shelley Winters and Ernest Borgnine. And their son, Binky. We saw that slide. I'm starving. Uncle Charlie and Miss Catherine are engaged in important experiments at the lab. Oh, good so, manners. Don't disturb their work. I won't, Mother. Perhaps you could tie it onto your face. Put on the Bye. feed bag. You know, your Uncle Charlie has made some major discoveries. You should be proud of him. I know that, Dad. Uncle Charlie. That's William Caroline. Demarest. Hurry, it's time to go. What happened to Bub? Dead. Bub's dead? Okay, Bub's I'm dead. Ready. Bub's daddy. Hello, Caroline. Good morning. Hello, dear. Walked right into that one. Johnny, you look after Caroline today. I will, Dad. Oh! Camera! Damn those pots. 
Johnny, don't go. It's too dangerous. I don't care. Come on, Caroline. Danger's my middle name. See you later. Goodbye. Be careful, both of you. I wonder if this soundtrack's available on 8-track. Good morning, Catherine. Good We're morning. not too late, are we? Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. At the moment, we're doing some experiments on cold sleep. Cold sleep? Yes. We're cold trying sleep. to preserve various creatures for extended periods by freezing them. Look out, look out, look out. Creatures. And are they still alive? Oh, yes. They awaken when we thaw them out. Whoa. That's incredible. What's in here, Catherine? In this room, we have some monkeys. Uh -huh. In cold sleep. It's just a baby. <laughs> Monkey Actually, pudding pie. he was asleep for over 20 years until this morning. <laughs> He's so Today cute. we wake him up and... We call that one King Kong. Those Come aren't on. monkeys. I'll take you up to your uncle's house. Those are possum. I think they're lemurs. Oh, it's no, fantastic. This is in Peru. It sure is. Is this the control center? It's not well, Kansas it's about either. time. Hello, uncle. I got up late oh. this morning. Good morning, Caroline. Look at the mountain. We had a warning from the Seismological Institute. Just don't look down here. Be some subterranean I hate shipping. to have them notice us. It looks serious. Maybe an earthquake. Yes, but nothing will happen suddenly. Oh. Well, but Caroline, it's too expensive it's to show. Oh, yes, especially the cold sleep experiment. <laughs> Dr. Lee, the children are very concerned about our monkeys. Hmm? Yes, you get the Speaking feeling they're really Speaking of cold dead. sleep. Are you sure they'll live again? <laughs> Why, of course they will. Come, I'll show you something fascinating. It's always good to let toddlers and young elementary school people into the, uh, the surgical area. Oh, I thought it was a bakery. Here, Johnny, you try this. Try making this incision. That's attractive. Chimp sorbet. Well, I guess that would be chocolate chimp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you kill me. I've tried. Joel would love this movie. I wonder where he is. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, who wants to lick the ball? Oh, it's alive. Yes. <laughs> there. As uh, good as new. Is it all right? The freezing didn't hurt it. No, Little freezer sleep. burn. We could have left it frozen for a But he's hundred. all right. Uh. Or even a thousand. Mm -hmm. Without causing mm -hmm. any... Bird's eye monkey. You see, with our new process, we can preserve life almost eternally. Oh. <laughs> We've even what experimented almost with human means? beings. It doesn't Are you work a human right beings? Mm. We have here a very wealthy man, James Bedford. In his will, he requested that his body be frozen immediately after death. We gave him various compounds to reverse the decaying effects of old age. You gotta spin them, though. Them liquid nitrogen. They won't stay frozen unless degrees you degrees below zero. spin them. And so, we hope that when he awakens, he'll be even younger and healthier than before. It seems wrong to tamper with the laws of nature. Ah, an age-old discussion. Yeah, but there'd be no plot. This room is for very special Thin, experiments. Though it is. Johnny, don't touch any of the equipment. This capsule is used for people, right? And they're frozen in there? Once they're inside, all the controls are set for our tests, and a computer takes over automatically. Then we transmit our findings to the world's leading scientists. But when they're frozen at hundreds of degrees below zero, it's just like they're really dead. Yes. Only they're not. Hmm. They're human Don't popsicles. Don't you feel anything? Uh, you know, nothing. We first prepare them with a special injection, like an anesthetic. And then it's like they're sleeping. Some even tell us that they were dreaming. For 20 years, oh, really a 20-year dream. <laughs> that sounds like an attractive kind Johnny, of proposition. Johnny, don't go in there. Oh. Come on out. We haven't completed those experiments. I just wonder what it's like. To be a fudsicle. Now get out. Or I'll get very angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Whoa, good angry. Johnny, get out! Johnny! Johnny, get angry. Johnny, Johnny get okay. mad. Stop. I want the Johnny. cutest thing that I ever had. Now that's rock and roll. 
Oh, good. Put everybody in the freezer. We did this in science class. Who would have thought that? This must have cost a couple of bucks. At least a couple of bucks. Maybe well, four. There was a sale at Knox Lumber. They've been flocked. They look like you, Crow. Let's not talk about that, okay? That's an ugly period of my past. Oh, Tannen Crow. <laughs> it's like drinking a Slurpee real fast. The ice cream body aches. So much for urban renewal. I feel time slipping through my fingers, don't you? Yeah. I feel a commercial slipping into my face. It's coming. I can feel it. Bust. Now I get it. Cold sleep. Kids turned into frosty malts. Better than the Omni Theater. What the? I bet it's the future. What the? I wonder which part thaws out we? first. Where are we, Uncle? Earthquake. <gasps> How strange. Uncle Charlie! Tramp. Rabbi. Chip. Ernie. Mike. It doesn't look like the Institute. Mike and Bob went off together and... Doty. Barbara. What happened to my uncle? I don't know. Come and knock on our door. Hello? What now? Let's go ahead. Uncle! What brilliant makeup. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. <laughs> posture, boys, posture. Looks like they designed their makeup on a cave wall. Stop Johnny, stop. They're doing all they can just to walk on two legs. Where are we? Johnny, he's got Where your gun. Everyone? Where's my Uncle Charlie? Legs. I don't know, Johnny. It's all so strange. Catherine, I'm scared! Don't be afraid. Well, I've We're never seen you. a rotating tree before. A lot Why of weird camera movement here? in this film. Why aren't there any human beings? <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, golly. I always thought Mike Nesmith was the most talented of the monkeys. You better not hurt us! <laughs> he's trying to peel him. He thinks he's a banana. Where's Charlton Heston when you really need him? That monkey's got spurs. Means he's a leader. Oh, what are they going to do with us? It looks like they're going to take us somewhere. They're going to kill us. They're going to build a tire swing out of you. I don't want to be killed by a monkey. Don't no, I'd rather be killed by a tiger. Come on. Anger Let's buy these guys a tripod. What do you say? I'll chip in. Chip? Ernie? Bert? Cookie Monster? Grover. Blind man's bluff. <laughs> Well, it's a bluff or a cliff or something. Okay, now blindfold the monkeys and then you lead them around. <laughs> Not a lot of monkey dialogue. They're just grunts anyway. They're human bones. They're going to kill us? No! <laughs> Okie dokie, ha! Now dance. Tension's really building. I can feel it. They give them opposable thumbs and they're still crummy shots. <laughs> Don't let them get away! Killer! Suppose this is being filmed by monkeys or humans? Obviously After monkeys, them. I guess. They probably got a neutral animal. Where's it go? It's being this filmed way. by the gopher people. It feels like it's being filmed by cow cam. Like a bad Nissan ad. As opposed to a good There's Nissan a ad. There. Let's try and cross it. Come on. Oh, bridge over the river Kwai. Why do you say that? Stay together. Because it looks like a no gangy whiz. Walked right into that one again. Did you see them? They disappeared. Come, this way. Just a little more to go. <laughs> How do you get your blowport to pucker like that? It's my special program. Oh. It's all internal. <laughs> we almost got a cool shot there. My God, it really is water down there. And wood floats. Did you see them? We can't find them anywhere. They must have crossed to the other side. This way, this way. They really can talk. <laughs> that was lucky. Nobody saw us. Keep going. Yeah. 
Let's go. This way. Ah, a house. Look, there's a house. Yes. Careful. We don't know who lives there. But they're monkey people. What good is a plastic house? There's no one inside. Breaking and entering. Don't make any noise. Joel should really be here to watch this. I know, I'm really getting a, a little concerned at least. No, don't! Oh, that's beautiful. Raccoon boy. Is this your home? Yes. I hope it's all right. Our entering like this. I don't mind. Thank you, Ferret Face. They're chasing us. Maybe they're in here. <gasps> Yeah, take off your tennis shoes Wait, so you can run better. Around the house. There's a back door there. Thank you. Come on, hurry. More bad hair in this than an Ewok adventure. Hurry. Or an Ava Gabor salon. <laughs> after them, after them! <laughs> Chewbacca challenge. They crossed over the line. It looks like they're scared. Yes, you're right. They're scared of the cookie. They're afraid of that shrine. It'll give us a chance to get away. Come on, let's go quickly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Get that that could be the phone. Hello. It no, Joel's not here. What's that? They went towards Green Mountain. Very well. I heard Wait a this. pounding earlier. You've let those invaders escape? Don't worry, sir. They'll be caught soon. This is a very serious situation. They must never be allowed to cross the border and enter Green Mountain. We must call out all our troops. Trust me, General. I'll get them before they reach the frontier. This is the district leader. We must have reinforcements. Oh, Charlie, are you all right? Yes. Yeah. We must keep going. They look like bad puppets. A barrel of monkeys. At least that much fun. Ten <laughs> monkey see, monkey do. Monkey About do. Face. Yeah. Those invaders must be caught. And this time, you mustn't let them get away or I'll have you all shot. Understand? We understand, sir. But all no these guys look like Ernie Mountain. Kovacs. You cowards! Those invaders must never be allowed to cross monkey. the border into Green Mountain. Get going! Yes, sir. Forward and get them! I think I... I think in the background I saw eight pagoda. <laughs> <laughs> Something's fishy about that. <laughs> Oh. oh. We just can't stay here like this. I just heard a little pounding here. noise again. There must be a way around. She's beautiful. Gorilla, my dreams. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 On, oh. Oh. I've been saving up for that one. <laughs> Go on and keep your head down. Go on. Johnny, you're not you 
sure an agile one. It's yeah, I'm okay. They're only through holes. It's designed to kill anyone who enters here. Oh, no, the horrible shaking bush. It's God trying to speak. Watch out for that. Oh, that's bad. Look out! Oh, no. Go and grab a rack. Let, let's go look for Joel some more. All right. He's got to be around here somewhere. Come on, hurry, hurry! Come on, hurry, hurry. Did you look in the commissary? Well, yes, and in the AG room. AG room? What's that? I don't know, uh, anti-gravity, maybe? Yeah, that, that sounds good. Uh, well, was he there? Uh, we don't have an anti-gravity room. Well, then there's no use looking for Joel there, then, is there? Hey, hang on to your load pan, pal. Load pan? That's funny coming from a spasmodic crapacator. Well, at least I don't throculate in a panoric arch, buddy. Well, maybe you should. Everybody! Everybody! Hey, Gypsy, what's that in your mouth? It's Joel's uniform. I found it in the pod bay. What's a pod bay? Oh, about two pounds. <laughs> That's not important right now, though. What's important is that Gypsy found Joel's suit, and that means... <laughs> Joel is floating naked in space. Quick, get the telescope! Oh. Yeah. There. Do I look more civilized now? <laughs> What's this? It's a funny-looking vegetable, hmm? Yes. It tastes good, hmm? It tastes like mashed potato. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Pepe? Godo, the egg troops are coming here. They've set fire to the mountain. What? What are they eating? I don't know. It looks like ape nuts. Ooh, sounds painful. <laughs> uh, not if you Pepe, chew them right. what is Godo like? He's strong. And very clever. How did you make friends with Godo? Seems pretty angry. A long time Must ago. Must have a chimp on his I shoulder. I came to this mountain just to play. Oh. Then my mother came looking for me. But she was caught in a trap. And caught then, in a trap? Godo came and rescued you, right? Yes. That's why I love Godo. Kid looks I like Chaka from Land of the Lost. Got another fire. There. Hurry, hurry. There's uh -oh. Godo. Oh, fire. Uh. Good night. Thank you. Shirley. Kill him! Don't let him get away! No, no! Go to Wolf. Shirley? No, Nate no. called Shirley? Kill him! Kill him! Can't trust a monkey with a gun. Shoot him! Shoot him! Fire! Bring in King Kong. Shoot some butt. a good name? Ramdo do Pepe, hold on! Catherine! Oh, go to Pepe! Pepe, don't move! Pepe! I'm coming, Pepe! No, don't come here! Run, run! Save yourself! 
I didn't know there were Japanese people named Pepe. Pepe! Well, Japanese monkeys. Are you all right? Pepe! Well, not really. He's kind of rare still. He's a crispy critter. We had some butane left over from City on Fire. Give me your hand. I've got it. No, we can't blame City on Fire on the Japanese. It was Prometheus who discovered the thing. Oops. He'll take the bullets for everyone. Present! Arms! Ready! <laughs> Godo, are you ready to die? Stupid question. Wait, let me swallow my gum first. Aim! His light's on. Kind of a monkey shine about it. It's the law. Attention! Darth Monkey. Your Excellency. Your Excellency. Your Excellency? Wow. I'd say mediocre at best. He's got the worst makeup of all. Your Excellency. Police Chief Gabos acting on his own initiative. I tried to stop him. I tried to stop him. Them. Yes, Your Excellency. Your Excellency! Your Excellency! I request permission to kill Godo. He mustn't be allowed to go free. He is our enemy! Silence. We must kill him! Looks like Carl Malden. with the kid. Uh, I'll cue the other effect. My God, it's a styrofoam plate. Oh! Johnny! And it's just hovering there. Oh, please, he's just a little boy. Don't hurt him. Oh, please, don't hurt him. Sorry. All fair in guerrilla warfare. To headquarters. Oh, oh. Uh, what about this flying saucer, guys? Just acknowledge it. Do Your something. You can't do this. I have fought against Godo at the risk of my life. Now that we have him, he must be punished. I request your permission to kill him. Silence. Your Excellency. Silence. Just a hunch. Monkey cycle. Oh. I want out of this monkey outfit. Oh. Oh. Your Excellency, please let the children go, just the children. Do not be afraid. I will not harm you. I do not hurt innocent people. But if you cause trouble, I will kill you. Have you understood that? Yeah, the rules seem pretty cut and dry. Is he the president? He's the excellency. George Catherine. Bushman. Yeah. Shimmer City. Was 
that, Prince? I think so. Prince Jim. Chaka. Boy, somebody with a flea collar concession could really clean up in this town. All right. Yes. No one can escape from this cell. Not even Godo. <laughs> they just did, didn't they? They turned it on from the inside. Monkeys aren't really smart. Remember, if you are good, no harm will come to you. Understand? Yes. If you're bad, we'll crush you like a chicken bone. Mmm. <gasps> we do not eat like barbarians. You must show respect for the customs we of our like country. We apes. First, you thank Big the difference. gods before you sit. First, scratch your then armpit you and your head. you raise your food and eat with dignity. Understand? Then go, ooh, ooh, ooh. It does feel good when you get those shoes off in the middle of the day. Oh, yeah. Allow those doggies to breathe. Yep. My dogs are barking. No. Oh. We haven't seen this in a while. The conveniently large uh, crawling uh, air shaft. It's just a way to vent his hostilities. I think I may go look for Joel. Johnny, it's me. I think you'll sit here and oh, suffer Pepe. with the rest of us. Johnny. Is there a screwdriver? I knew she had a neck for business. Here's one. Oh, I got it, Pepe. I always carry one. Great. Uh, how convenient. Monkey's got tools. I wonder if she's got a monkey wrench. Okay, I can get through. Be careful, no one sees you. Quit monkeying around. I'll find Godo, and we'll come back for you. I've heard that line before. Too. You wait here. We'll come back. You'd better stay. And you just pretend I'm still inside the cell. It's much safer. There's no place for humans. There's monkey business. Impossible. Why? Hey. Let me destroy another piece of clothing. I told you not to rub your feet on the carpet. I have lived to see the day when I will kill you. 
It's taken a long time. For years, I have thought of the pleasure it would give me. <laughs> this time, you will not escape me. Very well. Do just as you like. I want to ask you one question. Well, I'm going to tell. What will you do with those three? I don't know yet. How can he shoot through the force field? Kill me, it doesn't matter. Just let those three humans alone. <laughs> That's how. Put your finger in the end of the gun, it always works. <laughs> I'm asking you, let them go. They are innocent. Silence! Oh, oh. I've got a monkey on my back. Oh, a human on my back. I've got a monkey in my crotch. Where are they, Caroline and Catherine? This way! Someone's there! Hmm? Playing the symbol. <laughs> Just a chinchilla. Who are you? What are you doing here? Good go. Chimp alert, chimp alert. Oh, this is just great. Is this society a banana republic? Go go has escaped. After him, kill him. Kill out. You fools. I told you to behave yourselves, didn't I tell you that? Yes. Yes, you told us that. I'm very sorry. You will regret your behavior. Oh. <gasps> Major, Your Excellency, find that boy. I want Dodo and the boy alive. If these three prisoners are killed, then they will be worthless to us. Yes, Your Excellency. Follow me. Yes, sir. <gasps> you mean, Godo has run away too? We will find him again. Your Excellency, I don't care about my own life. Only the children. They have done nothing. They are innocent. Let them go. If you had not disobeyed and followed my instructions, things would be different. We'll wait till nightfall. They might find then us before Then we kill the them. writers and directors. Oh, no. We've made it this far. I'm starting to get hungry. We can eat the transmission of this yes. truck. Hey, not a bad idea. <sighs> they must be here somewhere. Johnny, we'll get in the truck. Go on. Okay. Easy. Get in. Good place to hide. Can't tell one ape from another. It's an evolution, swell. Even backwards. Posture. 
Keep upright. Anyone who reverts all fours is dead. What the? That guard's pregnant. Must be okay. Monkeys having monkeys. Chimp children. Yard apes. We're far away. How'd we find Caroline and Catherine? Don't worry. We'll get back to them real soon. Mm. Help them with your helmet. Take the ape train. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Boy, I wish you wouldn't have said that. You gotta, you gotta, or your head explodes. Over here, over here! Is that in your program? Come on! Yep. This way! I really want them. Joel is gone. This is a void. Or annoyed. No, no what's that? Come no. on! Oh. Oh. Uh, we'll go take a look at him again through the telescope. Must be cold out there. <laughs> Getting further and further away from them. It couldn't be helped, otherwise we'd have been caught. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. I uh, you've got a ticket. Your tickets, please. Where are you going? Where's your ticket? Tickets? We don't need no stinking tickets. Look, the suit almost fits. You know, Crow, we're in a very interesting situation here. Fact. Joel is floating naked in space. Mm -hmm. Fact, Mr. Crow. We have locked the door and hold the only key. Mm -hmm. Fact. Joel is at our complete mercy. You know, we could bring him in, but uh, there'll have to be some changes. Mm -hmm. uh, first, we have to dump all these breadfruit plants. Yes, and a Tahitian babe for everyone. Yeah, or, or, or we could set him adrift in a life pod with a sextant, charts, and our toaster. A toaster? Not Lucille. She's got four toast bays. Hey, the guy's got to have some fun. What is that infernal pounding? Must be, uh, uh -huh. space barnacles. Yeah, that's it, space barnacles. Yeah, yeah, uh, let's fire the retros and uh, shake them loose. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be so upset. Now, which one of these is, uh... Oh, oh movie oh, size! Dodo, the train! Where are they hiding? I tell you, I don't know. 
Why do you insist on protecting them? After all, didn't they run away and leave you here to die? Uh, it's not true. Isn't it? Yeah, then why have they come for you? you go ooga hey. ooga. I'm sure they're going to come back for us. <laughs> Are we there yet? Oh, this thing's back. My God, it's a hairdryer! Ah! Actually, it looks like a headlamp from a scooter. Pepe, are you all right? I'm a little tired. No, well, we'll rest a little. I was wondering. That flying saucer seems to be everywhere. Like it was following us. We were wondering, too. Do you think there's a special reason it's doing that? Maybe to protect us. To protect us? Yes. It could be from a friendly planet. If it's friendly, why don't they try to signal us? It's a mystery. Who do you think they are? I don't know. This is a movie first. I have never ever Happy? seen anyone so nonchalant okay about yes. a flying saucer. All right, come. Well, <coughs> got a whole planet full of hairy guys. I suppose uh, nothing really is too exciting. Close encounter of the Sandy Frank kind. <sighs> Close encounter of the nerd kind. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm going to see my father. Your father is stationed here? Yes, he's an officer. Oh, I see. Well, go on. You shouldn't hang around here. Goodbye. Nice meeting you. Huh? And you shouldn't be so gullible. Oh, there are guards everywhere. Good call. Why, that's Caroline. So they brought her here. He's an observant little fella. Is Catherine there, too? I don't know. Caroline, I couldn't get though. any closer. There's officers and guards everywhere. We'll scout around. Here's the back door to the building. No, no it's, it's a little stick. And they're in a room on the second floor overlooking the yard. But there are guards posted all over. Mm. Here is an emergency exit. But we can't get to it unless we use the outside stairs. Godo? Well, here's what we'll do. Bang our heads together. Pepe? Hey? You borrow a pushcart somewhere and load as much straw on it as you can. We'll meet back here. Then we'll try to get into the back door of the building. But you'll have to be careful so the guards don't suspect anything. We're there. Happy, you're terrific. Hey. Oops, she forgot to load Go her there. friends in. Godo, he's coming. Okay. What are you doing? You can't leave that there. I got tired. Uh, okay, I'll help Thank you. Thank you. Against regulations to stay here. All right, now. Oh! Don. Don. Get the Don. Gotta wrap him. Pepe, you keep watch. Right. Wow, that was fast. It's a great disguise. But it smells <laughs> gazentite. Come on. Thank you. No one will ever notice he's not completely covered with fur with that outfit on. The ape drill instructor. He's still there. Johnny, you wait there. Wouldn't want to hmm. grapple with him. What is that, the, the girl from Apanema? I think so. Tall and hunched. 
Captain Young and Harry. Johnny, all clear. Come on. Prepare the plane for combat. Uh, can't it wait till tomorrow? No, do it immediately. Very well. I'll see that it's done. Oh, there's a guard there. Good call. Mm. There are guards That's everywhere. We've what do we do? That. You distract him. Mm -hmm. I'll blow him out of the sky. Mm. Or off the floor, as the case may be. <coughs> hey! What are you doing here? Halt! That was a distraction. That's the death. They fall for that one out of the hat. Let's go. Mm. They're only apes. Aren't you going to put his uniform on, too? That's a funny name, me, Catherine. Johnny! Catherine! Johnny! Johnny! Catherine! Johnny! Gibo! Gibo! Obo! Oh, shut up. Johnny! Oh, you're safe. Please don't worry. Johnny! <laughs> Godo! Let's hurry. Yes, Stop and go-go, too. We have to get out of here. Godo, there's no reason to run away. What? The commander is very nice, and he said we were under his protection. His protection? It sounds like some kind of trap. It must be. We must get going. No, I'm staying. No, you're coming with me. Don't forget we saw traces of human beings. They have to be near here, and we must try to find them. Godo? Yes, we'll all go together. Caroline, I want to find other human beings. Caroline, you saw how he treated us. I just want to the find where we can get some good steak. The commander kind to us. He's not like the others. An ape is still an ape. Don't talk like that. We must get going. Oh, Catherine, Speaking a different language. Don't talk like that. It's the truth. The commander was really trying to protect us. And I tell you, it must be a trick. Come on, we're losing time. Godo, no. Come on, Caroline, hurry! <laughs> What the? After them! After them! Away! What is this, an old west town now? This is more guerrilla warfare. Chicago! Let's see you escape now! Nice rubber no, gun. A flying saucer! It's here to help us. Looks like a Smokey the Bear's hat. It's that flying saucer again! Shoot it down! Yes, sir! You can't shoot down a flying saucer. With a Kleenex, you can. Closer. Apparently, the science flying saucer has bad death. Shoot at it. Just guns. don't get any this germs on it. For God's fire. sake. Huh? They found fire. a mightier foe. What are you waiting for? It's a smoke shoot alarm. Guns we'll throw your guns at it. Go to look, a guard. Big deal. They all have such good eyes for guards. How could you pick one out? Jeep. Oh, my Jeep. Shoot that. 
Shoot them! Shoot them! Our guns still on fire. They won't fire. The trigger won't work. Get a clue, sir. Jump up and throw a brain. Johnny, what'd you do? I took the key from the truck. There. Johnny, you're a pretty smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we wait for the flying saucer? Yes. Gabor might catch up to us. <sighs> that flying saucer came to our rescue again. Gabor? If we only knew they were following us. Both. Maybe they think we're following them. Uh-huh. I noticed it always comes from the east. Avja. Looks real, doesn't it? I could... Yes. Yes, it does. It looks like it's signaling. Yes. Well, let's go. No, wait a second. It's just a turn signal. I'm beginning to understand now. Unless I'm wrong, the organization known as UCOM is now trying to take over the ape country and wants us to leave. Maybe they're getting ready to attack. No, well, she must have been UCOM paying better has attention never attacked than I human beings. We should contact them and seek their protection or the apes will get us. It could be dangerous. Shall we try it? I think you're what right. What the heck? It's our only chance. I'm for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for a commercial, I think, before anything. Because this is just goofy. Car is approaching. The command car. Make way for the commander. He mustn't be allowed in I here. I thought he was the excellency. Stop him. He can't come in here. He's not the commander anymore. Luzar is our new leader. We have orders not to let him in. Let us through. Let us through. Our orders are not to let anybody in. The commander is coming. Here, let us through. Let us through. Pablo, way. Come on. Oh, that's kind of... Let us through. Here comes the commander. Oh, yeah. The commander is here. How dare you come in here? Keep him out! Keep him out! Oh, Your Excellency. So you have betrayed me. Arrest him! Arrest him! Arrest him, I said! Lower your weapons. Oh, it's Sammy Why Davis you Jr., this? monkey. You are too weak. You protect our enemies. We want to fight and kill those invaders. That is your plan? Yes, it is. I gave orders to have them killed. I give the orders here. You are not our commander anymore. Is that so? How did that happen? I'll give you one last chance to call off this rebellion. But, Your Excellency, and I give you my word of honor, our enemies shall be punished. Very well, Your Excellency. How about punishing the makeup Go people? Go where are we going? <laughs> Don't that you know? That was a short-lived coup. I'm taking you home. Home? No, this is a short-lived coup. Coup. Get it? Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, Mama! Pepe! Oh! Pepe! Pepe! Mama! Mama! Oh, Pepe! Pepe! You're safe! You're safe! I was so worried about you. I looked everywhere for you. I even went Did to the mountain. Did you look in the pod bay? Oh, but you're home now. What's the pod bay? Oh, Pepe. Oh, but... Pepe. Hey. I couldn't imagine Get off what had happened it. to you. Oh. Pepe. At first, I even thought that you were killed by one of those naked apes. So I rented out your room. Don't be afraid. Pepe. Oh, it's all right, Mama. These are my friends. They're the ones who saved my what? life. But they are naked apes. Um, I've been traveling with them a long naked time. Apes. I can explain. We were forced to take Pepe. I'm very sorry. We didn't want to take her along, but we had no choice. We were being pursued by troops. Oh. I know how worried you must have been. Are you leaving me now? Yes. To go back to our country. You understand? That's like Joel, I think, no, isn't no, it? No, please take me with you. Yeah. Pepe, Joel would be a very you good example of a naked ape. Mother. I want to go with you. Yes. Pepe, I envy you because you found your mother again. I want to go with you. Pepe, you have to stay with your mother. But I... I want to go with Johnny and Caroline. Be quiet. Do you want your mother to be sad? I don't uh, think that's what I, he said. 
Pepe, I think it's mostly we, we just don't like you. Pepe, Johnny is right. We'll see you again. <laughs> Whoever Johnny. cryogenetically frozen and hurled through time, Pepe. we'll be sure to stop by. You must be a good girl and stay here with your mother. Do you understand? Here, Pepe. take a lock of our skin to remember us by. You'll be all right. Academy Awards the other night? No, I missed it. That's Gabe RG. Oh. This is up for best picture. He must be nearby. Yes. This was? Yes. What, didn't they just... They didn't make any other films that year? It, it still didn't win. I've been waiting for you, Godo! <gasps> what do you want? Don't worry, Godot. I'm no soldiers. It's just you and I. I'm in a hurry. I have no time for you today. I have more urgent business. When I've finished, then I'll see you. And we'll settle this matter. Silence! I'm going to kill you. I deserted my post and came here just to kill you. I must avenge my wife and my son. I'll take care of Gabar, Catherine. Mm, take the children up to the cliff and wait for me there. Godo, you can't escape now. Come on out. Oh. Oh, golly. <laughs> Godo, I finally got my revenge. Got you, Godo. You want you to go to Green Mountain, but instead you'll go to your death. <laughs> Gabar, listen to me. Your thirst for revenge is against me, but the other three are not involved. Let them go free. No, I refuse to listen to you any longer. Godo, now prepare to die. <laughs> Well, let me write out my will and call some next of kin and... Make some sandwiches. Preparations will be ready in about a week. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. That flying saucer again. Uh, well, you are up there. Tell me, why do you prevent me from carrying out justice? I must destroy the man that killed my wife and son. I must have my revenge. I You're a doofus, 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 doofus. You mean this speech didn't win you any must awards? Let me kill him. Why do you always stop me? Or that Godot special effect? My wife and son. It is only natural to seek revenge. You must let me kill. Godot. But it's not natural to grow hair all over your body Just and take a roll as a monkey. Thing. And I will obey you forever. Just let me do this one thing. Newcom has ordered that there should be a stop to all further killing. What? But Godot killed my say? wife and my child. He deserves to die. Why do you want to save Godot's life? Because he's got clear skin. Oh! oh. It's Babu. It's my son. Babu. Help me, I'm falling. Don't let go. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Don't let go. My wife. Oh, try to catch this. Oh. oh. Some help. I can't hold on anymore. Oh, no. Oh. 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 I'll try to pull you up. I can't hold on any longer. Go now. Try to save my son. Save my son. Oh, oh. Don't give up. Keep holding on. Oh. 
I can't anymore. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Unbelief. Come on. Come on. You're nearly there. A little You're more. There. There. Ah. You killed your son. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? <laughs> Let go. Oh, I, oh. I, I killed Gorilla my own angst. son. It wasn't Godot. Or apes. I killed my own son. Thanks for coming to Mystery Science Theater 3000. I'm Joel Hodson. The guys at the station sent me this facsimile that the next film is called Invaders from... He's here. He's here. I see him. Servo, don't tell him it was me who wanted to fire the retros. Hey, wait a minute. Cambot, knock it off. Stop it. Just stop. Boy, that, that really looked real. I could have sworn that was him. Crow, do the words videotape mean anything to you? Okay, smart buckets. If that wasn't Joel, who was it? Well, that was... that was a simulation. There was no one behind that door. Oh, really? Let's look. Ah! 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 <sighs> See, that wasn't Joel at all, really. Reality is something you play with, like silly putty. Wow, this is really complicated. How does anyone know what's real or not? Well, take this segment, for example. This is an illusion. It is? Boy, my head hurts. Can you ever tell what's real or what's not? Well, here's something that's definitely not reality. Movie song! It's the commander! It's the commander. I thought he was the emperor. No, he's the excellency. Oh, that's right. Your excellency, Yukom's been signaling us. Be careful. It must be a trap to kill you. But the flying saucer always used to help us. And it's an agent of Yukom. It's a trick. <laughs> hey, Bar. <laughs> what happened to you? Your Excellency, I don't deserve to live. I've done a terrible thing. I appeared in this film. I'm a murderer. I have no right to live anymore. I, I killed my wife and my son. What's that? Yes, I killed my wife and my son. No, you killed your son. Your wife oh. killed herself. And I, I always thought that Godot had killed them. Gabar, it was an accident. You have a good heart. Harry, though it is. Oh, Your Excellency. Oh. Gabar, it was an accident. Oh. Oh. A lot of good acting in this scene. Oh. Absolutely. Godo, I accused you wrongly. Please forgive me. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, the poor thing. To have to live with that. Well, let's go back. No. We're going to contact Yukon. You are being fooled. You do not realize the dangers that lie deep in Green Mountain. Yukon can be very treacherous. Or lie green Stay here with mountain. me. Catherine, let's go. Yes. Just a moment, please. The rebellion is over. We can have a peaceful life. Let us go back together. I can't. I know that you have been kind. Only we are human beings, and, and this is an ape country. Please understand, we could never live Maybe it's here an ape planet. Among strange creatures, in a strange country, away from our home, prisoners here. Despite all your kindness, you realize that humans are totally different from you. Yeah, for one, they're not as hairy. 
Actually, apes and uh, men have the same amount of hair on their body. Did you know that, Sir Will? Oh, uh, yeah. It's a lie. No, it's just... I understand. Men have really yes. tiny hair. Because we are different, you'd be afraid to live among us. But that will change soon. One day, different people will learn to live together in peace and harmony. I'd gladly send an escort with you. Have any and ivory? Go to Green Mountain. I wish you yep. well on your journey. Thank you, sir. I don't know how to express our gratitude for all you've done for us. Captain. Your Excellency. Looks like he thought of a you couple ways. You might need ways. this. <laughs> it's been a great pleasure knowing you. I hope you will think of us once in a while. Yes. In my nightmares. Hello. Take good care of my friends. They're going to open an electrolysis salon. They were nice. We'll have to invite them back sometime. Yeah, but their manners. Woo! We're very close. The entrance must be somewhere behind the mountain. Entrance to what? Look! There's the flying saucer! Godo, where's it landing? Behind that rock formation. I don't know this place. I wasn't allowed to play here as a child. Uh, then you come certainly there. Careful. Apparently he was allowed to roam the rest oh. of the planet when he was a Look. child. Yeah, but he couldn't cross the forbidden zone. Look at the back door. This must be the entrance. How do we get in? The door is shut tight. Yeah. Try turning the knob. Oh, yeah. Oh. Looks like he's the knob. Well, let's go. Hope they shut behind them. Oh, darn. We got shut in with them. Catherine, don't be frightened. Let's go on. Yeah. My God, we're trapped in a video game. And so they decided to eat the children. Catherine! Catherine! Wouldn't you? It's so spooky in here. You come. I know what you come means. Bob, you come? The U stands for universal. Calm is computer. Universal computer, right? Catherine! Oh! U-E-C. What does U-E-C mean? Universal Ecosystems Control Computer. Ah. Universal control computer. The supreme power. Yes, the master of the entire universe. But you didn't create yourself. Humans created you. Isn't that so? That's correct. And when were you made? In the year 2030 A.D. Huh? What's a computer? I'll ignore that question. It's too primitive to deserve an answer. Yeah. It's a machine that thinks instead of humans. A machine that thinks? Yeah. Have you any other questions? Why did the humans decide to create a computer to control the Earth? They became lazy. They even let apes fight their wars for them. The humans became useless, so Yukon decided to destroy them completely. So this is probably a bad place for them to be. Wow. 
the apes have replaced the humans in all their activities and pursue ruthlessly the few humans that have escaped us. Do they still play pinball? Oh, there. sure. One more question. How many human beings are left on Earth? At the present time, in the entire universe, four. there are only four human beings. Good Just guess. Four. Thank you. Let's go buy some lotto tickets. Four. We're the last four humans. The Guess what we Why get to do? Among themselves? Why are they killing their own people? All was peaceful here until you humans appeared. Then various tribes of apes feared that you would join forces with their rivals and attempt to conquer them and gain control of Yukon. They began warring among themselves to capture you and remain masters of Yukon and the universe. You have two choices, to go to another planet or stay here on Earth. We want to stay here. Not go to another planet. Like I said, you had two choices. If you choose to stay on Earth, you can't be allowed to live with us in the present. You will have to travel into the future. Bingo. Your presence here what about the past? always cause conflict among the apes. You will have to go into the future by time capsule. What is the reason? Tell us why. Why not Tell use an why. easy to swallow the caplet? The between apes and humans is too great. The conclusion is based on the statistical analysis of wars and hereditary conflicts. But we hadn't planned on... on going to a world of the future. You're only a machine. You can't tell human beings what to do. This planet is ours. Sure he can. Analyze your data again. Can he? Maybe your conclusions are wrong. You come, will repeat. No. You have two choices. One to go to another planet and never return. The other is to stay here on Earth. But in another time period than ours. You must decide quickly, otherwise the computer Please. will decide. What will you do to us? Uh, what Are is you going total to kill oblivion? Us? You come. You know that you've never caused any wars. So please. Please will you go over your data again? You come has never made a mistake. Our results are infallible. I will give you five minutes to decide. You have five minutes and not a second more. I know! What are you going to do? I'll show you. I've had enough. I'll destroy that machine. Bad idea. Bad idea. Try using the bullets. Bad idea. <laughs> Real dumb. Real poor judgment. You can tell because it's slow motion. Something big's going down. Wait. But it's no use. It's too strong. Isn't she the girl who wanted a Coke in the Gamera movie? I think so. It rings every ten seconds. That's one minute. Catherine, let's escape. I'm scared. I don't want to go away from Earth. I don't want to go into the future. Catherine, let's try to escape. We can't escape. How about the, the past, can't guys? Come after us. Let's escape. But the, the computer used to destroy human beings. All the more reason to escape. But... If we don't act quickly, they'll decide for us. Catherine, hurry! Let's go. <gasps> good, good plan, King. Wow, great light show. Godo! Catherine! Why'd you stop? We'll be at the exit soon. Hurry up, Catherine! What is it? What's wrong? <gasps> it's Tinkerbell. Oh, She's alive. It's impossible. It's true. Clap we your hands. One day, I'll... There's no other solution. We have to decide now. Now, Johnny, Caroline, listen carefully to what I tell you. We know nothing about other planets, so it's safer to go into the future. Do you understand? I won't go! Listen, didn't we... You won't be in the sequel. Travel ahead a thousand years? 
Do we still survive? I won't be in the sequel we either. We found Goto. But this is the ape country. We'll hide somewhere where human beings lived before. We'll manage somehow. Johnny. We'll live on nuts Caroline, and berries and roots. Please believe me. And apes. There isn't any hope of our surviving on another planet. We've no idea how far ahead into the future we'll go, but we've still a chance. Three days. If we remain on Earth. Johnny, you must decide. We don't have any more time. Why did Sandy yes. Frank think this film was worth saving? All right. <laughs> He's always Catherine, been a pillar of good judgment. If I have oh. to make a choice, I'll choose another planet. <gasps> Godo, it may be a planet where nobody can live. It may be paradise. I'll risk either going to... To heaven or hell, let the gods decide. Godo, we want you to come with us. There are no other humans left on Earth. Right, so we need you if to come with away, us. It may turn out Get to it. be a good thing. Godo, please stay with me here on Earth. Yes, Godo. No, there's nothing for me here. Anyway, a new planet might turn into an exciting adventure. The Earth is millions of years old and completely governed by the apes. Try to have a kid, they Godo. Find Just us. try it. We won't have another chance. Johnny, come with me. Huh? I can't. Only 30 Godo seconds apparently left. failed Godo. biology. Godo, there are only four of us left. Well, he didn't even know what a Let's computer was. We need you, Godo. Oh, get on with it. In that case, I will stay. If you're going to cry about it. Godo! 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 We'll go to the future. So be it. Future. Lingerie. Toaster ovens. Those are deep freeze capsules. We came here by deep freeze capsules. What are they? Deep freeze capsules. We get into them. They came here by deep freeze capsules. By sleeping. I won't do it. Get into the capsules. I won't get into those things. No, I won't do it. Never. I won't. Godo. You was. Then you will be forced to suffer the consequences. <laughs> oh, that bottle effect from the other movie. Cool. Horrible. Oh, Psychedelic. Catherine! Don't be afraid. You'll be all right. You trust me, don't you? Mm. Yes. Yeah, sure, Catherine. We trust you. It's snowing inside a mountain, Catherine, and we trust you, sure. Whoa. Hey, we've seen this already. Yeah, but it's good for an extra eight, nine minutes of film. Play the same thing again. We paid for the effects. Let's use them twice. Where are we? Hell. We must have come into the future. It's all a bad dream. You were there, and you were there too. Catherine! Johnny! Gee, never thought of doing that before. Let's have the kid wake up from a dream. That'll... Make it all make sense. But at least she's institutionalized. Catherine! Johnny! Focus! Go, Focus!
understand her angst. I hoped I'd lost you. Blinded by the light. Must have been that ape Caroline. with the flashlight. And his monkey shine. Caroline. Caroline! Probably wondering Caroline. how we were going to sneak that Caroline. one into the film. Caroline. I did earlier. Caroline, Catherine. Quit monkeying around. Do you know where Johnny is? Let's go look for Johnny. No, no, this isn't getting stale or anything. I just saw Abe. Caroline, calm yourself. I saw Abe, Catherine. Calm down, Caroline. I didn't see them. I did. But if Joel were here, we would have run out of monkey puns hours ago. Let's talk to their leader, the commander. Oh, stop whining. Either we're dead or we're not. They're going to offer Are they principle. humans? Are they humans? They might be humans. Could be humans. They might be humans. I don't not know. Not enough hair. Please don't hurt us. Don't hurt us. They're not humans. They seem to be in a state of shock. Those might be humans. You goofs. <gasps> Dr. Lee! <gasps> Welcome back home. We're back where we started. Because they don't explain something. We're home again. I'm going to explode. <laughs> Doctor, they've had quite an experience. I don't think they'll forget it for a long time. Yes. Kodo! <gasps> Dr. Lee, where are the other two? Hmm? Two? Yes, Johnny and... Johnny is over there. We put the three of you in different rooms. But we were four. The third capsule was empty. <gasps> no, it can't be. Godo was with us, a young man. You've been under great stress. And that Godo got put in somebody's some eyeball. kind of hallucination. The capsule is still here? It's in the laboratory. The door on the right. Catherine! There's just a banana peel in there. That's it. This full of Godo. Mother! Mother! <laughs> Mother! Johnny! Oh, Mother. Catherine! I have so much to boy. tell you! Auntie M! <laughs> Mr. Whipple! I never thought I'd see you again! Mr. Hooper! <laughs> Mr. Bubble! Mr. Rogers! Mr. Coffee! Mr. Drip. Mr. Potato Head. Hey, I resemble that remark. Huh? Seven days? Fortunately, only a limited area was damaged by the earthquake. The rescue team worked around the clock. It still took seven days to dig you out. Only seven days? You've had an incredible adventure, I know, but time is relative. No one will believe that your experience of six months only lasted seven days. But it's the truth. Yes, I know it's the truth. And I have evidence. We have the film to prove it. I have data that corroborates your story. Be -be 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 -be. I notice certain deviations in the time scale. It shows 3,714 years and the thermometer shows an incredibly low temperature. We thought 273 degrees below zero was the lowest temperature, but these readings indicate even more extreme temperatures. 
And that could have elongated the time scale. Dr. Lee, the capsule was in such a low temperature zone mm. where the universal computer was. Hmm. Hmm. I understand now. It's all very clear. Huh? Could you Instead of your progressing like into the in? future, you reversed into the past. But there was another factor, the extremely low temperature, which caused the time scale to warp. And therefore, the deep freeze capsule acted as a time converter. It sounds simple, doesn't Which it? Which means it was an old species, oh, no, a new species in old cars. I get it. Go, Bo, tell it all. Catherine, there's something um, I'd like to ask you. Me too. I know what it is. You want to ask me about Godot. Godot went to a different world. It's not easy to explain. We came back to where With we Denise started. With Denise Huxtable from Cosby the Show? Oh, yeah. Godo had a different journey. He's in another time zone. Did he go to the past or the future? Where do you think he is? The land of misfit toys. I don't think we'll ever know. But one thing I do know, and I know for certain, Godo, wherever he is now, he'll always be in our hearts. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm thinking of another organ. Let's beat it. Life on the satellite without Joel is sure going to be different. Yeah, no more getting slapped in the load pans. No more electrocutions for no reason. No more getting turned into Christmas trees. Maybe Joel could be a good Christmas tree. Yeah, I kind of miss him. Yeah, but I don't mind life here with you, pal. No, oh, you're the greatest. 